Hey y'all, welcome to another video from Reckonow.com. This video is focused on a very popular blog post we did on building a water system for hunting camp. The basis of the system is this very large tank that's connected to a shallow well pump via PVC pipe and valves. If you want the detailed build instructions, just check out the link in the description. As the water makes its way through the pump, it then heads to two manifolds, a cold water side and a hot water side. The half inch lines you see here are distributing cold water throughout camp and then you see a three quarter inch line going through a thermal expansion tank and into an electrical water heater. Once that water is heated it then goes into the hot water manifold and then you have two lines that are distributing hot water throughout camp. So now I want to show you how we get the water into the tank. The secret to using the same pump is to create a wand like this. You'll see it's cut off at an angle that way it doesn't suck to the bottom of the barrel. What you need to do is take this wand and put it into the water source you're bringing into camp. So in our case, that's a blue barrel that we load into the back of a truck. And then you want to take the other end that the wand is attached to, and you're going to attach it to the drain valve. The drain valve is the lowest point in the system, and it's used for draining water out of the line. Alternatively, it can be used as another source of water coming into the system. So once you have the drain valve hooked up, you need to get another length of hose. And this is actually going to attach to an external faucet. Feed that hose into the main tank and make sure it stays on its own because you're going to be running water from an external faucet back into the tank. So connect that to an external faucet. And when you turn the hose on right now, water is going to flow from the main tank through the pump and back out the hose into the main tank again. So our goal is going to be to change the source of the water. So once you have water running into the main tank out of the main faucet, open up the drain valve and now you're going to have two sources of water, the blue barrel as well as the main tank. Now we want to slowly cut off the main tank without losing prime in the pump. So what you'll do is take this inline valve and turn it halfway. This will allow a little bit of water to still come through the main tank just so you can maintain prime and eventually you can cut it all the way off and all the water will be pulled from that blue barrel. You're going to want to watch because you don't want the pump to lose prime. So just watch your blue barrel and as it gets low you can then go back to your inline valve, turn it halfway and eventually you can turn it all the way in line because now we're going to transition off of the blue barrel and back to the main tank. So now you can just cut this drain valve by turning it all the way off and then you can go to that external hose faucet and cut it off and stop calling for water. And that's all there is to it. You've now created a water system that can be run on a single shallow well pump that also allows you to bring in external sources of water to replenish the main tank. Thanks for listening, y'all.